What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I was doing this to my lawnmower and it has been so damn frustrating that I figured, you know what, I'm gonna put this on my YouTube channel so that somebody can learn something from it because I've been at this now for about an hour. I finally figured it out and I figured it was worth showing everybody. But anyways, here's what I'm doing. So this is a coil spring that goes inside here and then this flips over like this it goes on the top of the mower this is a 36 inch walk behind mower by the way that i'm working on and then when you pull it obviously you pull it it starts the engine and then that recoils back but the problem is i obviously wasn't paying attention number one but when i took this coil spring out this is what it did now you can take this and coil it back up in there, okay? Now I don't wanna take it out now because it's under tension and everything, but, so I wasn't paying attention when I took the old one out, but I took it out and this is what it did. Now I had a spare one that I had bought because it started to crap out on me last year and I never got to it. So I'm like, well, I'll just order the spring and I'll fix it now, which is now next spring. Anyway, you can coil this back up and the most important thing, let's see if I can get in the light, are those two little things right there now. Here's the coil. I don't even know what they call this, I guess. The coil, I guess, is what I'm gonna call it. But, so what happens is, you got inside here, there's a little uh, metal round thing that this, sit, this plastic thing sits in, which this is what the rope goes around. And then one end of this goes right there. And then the other end, there's a little tab on there. That end goes on this part. So what you have to do is you have to make sure of two things. That the, both of these little Vs are facing the same way, which I had that screwed up. And number two, you turn this counterclockwise, okay? And don't worry about the rope right away. This is where I was making the mistake. I was trying to coil the rope up and this at the same time. Big no-no. What you do is put that new one on there or wind this one up back by hand, which you can do, but you gotta have gloves on in order to slowly wind this back up into here. So take this, wind this up counterclockwise, that's important, and get as much tension as you can on there, okay? stick a screwdriver in there or anything that'll stop it because if i pull this screwdriver out it's going to uncoil it's going to spin back out and take all the tension out so you want the tension in there then line up this hole and this hole where the string goes through tie it out on this end so i'll do that real quick right now okay got the knot tied now if the knot is like this and you recoil it back, you're going to have extra string. So make sure you take it like this, pull it all the way through, and now when I release this screwdriver, it should tighten that rope up, essentially. But what I'm going to do first is, there's these little things there too. I'm going to put those back in there, like so. Then this goes on there, and there's two little tabs on there that show where it goes, in correlation to that. And what happens is those things pull out like this to pull on the rope and start the engine. It's hard trying to do this with one hand. And be in the right spot where it's supposed to be. See, I don't have it lined up there. See how that's coming out like that? That's where it's gotta be. Okay, now you tighten this. See? Now the way this works is when you pull, those tabs come out like that and then grab onto the this part of the engine so that it starts. Here we go, let's pray that this thing winds back up like it's supposed to. Okay, 
it worked. <laughs> Thank God. I'm trying to do this with one hand, but it works. Okay, see how the tension's on there? The rope's coming back. Okay, should be good. We'll mount it back on here. Now we should be good to go. I just thought I should show everybody this. Hopefully you guys can learn something from it because that was frustrating. That took way too long. Should have taken five minutes and took me an hour. But you know what? We all learn something sooner or later. And uh, this, oh, by the way, this is for a Cub Cadet commercial 36 inch walk behind uh, with a Briggs and Stratton 12 and a half horsepower motor. So I'm assuming that these are probably set up somewhat the same but if not i'm sure you can probably get the gist of it by doing this so let's see if she starts up and yes i am missing one uh screw to the top of this i lost it a long time ago i don't know what happened to it but i lost it there we go see how it comes back on its own so we should be good that's fixed i know it's going to start but we'll just try it out anyways real quick with this i'll tell you what i do to winterize this very very easy okay let you guys see there's fuel in there see foam in the gas shut the fuel off let it run for a few minutes and let the sea foam get through there and then fog the spark plug with uh, fogging oil. Stable makes it. There's probably another company that makes it, but you spray it in there. And then um, I kind of pull the rope to turn the motor over so it lubricates everything. And that's all I do. I've had this mower for 10 years and it's been great. But it's time to sell it because I'm getting a new one. I'm going to upgrade and get a zero turn mower. And I am going to do a video on that also. But I just wanted to show you guys and go over this real quick because I was having a lot of frustration with that. But I'm sad to see it go. It cuts well. There's actually a brush bar on the bottom too that brushes the grass depending on which way you're cutting. And I've been really, really happy with this. I've had no issues at all. Routine maintenance, lubricate everything. Sharpen the blades, change the oil every season, winterize it the right way. That's literally all I've done. It's running great. But it's time for an upgrade. So hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell for notifications for the next video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll show you guys on the next one uh, what I decided to buy and why.